Hey guys, this is Jen from Skin and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I am redoing a lot of the old videos. And this is one of them. This is how to achieve an outline. Okay? So what do you do is whatever your image is. If you just want the thin outline of this. Okay? So you have your image here. Make sure it is selected. Come up here to Effects. Let's go to Shadow Layer. Alright, so let's change this so it's something vastly different than what your original image color is okay so right there that's going to be the thickness currently of what our design uh, will cut okay so if that's the thickness you want great if not come up here monkey around with it if that right there is the thickness you want great okay if not come in here you can hand enter numbers 1.0 there all right so let's leave it at that we're gonna click OK all right so now only the blue is currently selected I'm gonna click off come in here if I want that trimmed out I'm gonna come up here to path I'm gonna select back minus front I want to keep my back and subtract the front from it there is my outline Let's preview it. Yes, I have two cuts, the inside and the outside. That is how you do it and keep it true, okay? Uh, lots of people will come and try to resize, like hearts especially, uh, basic shapes here. Let's try to do a heart. Where did that go? Let me guess. I put it down here. Nope. Let's try a heart. There we go. Come on. Let's get a little bigger. Okay, heart. Well, if you, let's say we come up here, object, and we do a duplicate. Let's put it beside here. Okay. And we change this. Let's change this color so we can see this. We change it to a blue. Okay. And let's stack them on top of each other. So let's do this page thingy okay so now let's come over here and just pick up our blue we want to keep proportions so let's say that we just decrease the size because that should work right so let's just decrease the size proportionally let's select it again and let's center center it is way off Okay, so here it is snugged up together, and here it is way off. That's why you cannot just decrease the size. You must go after the shadow aspect of it. Okay, so that's how you do it in Sure Cuts a lot. Let's go do it in Canvas. Okay, so here I have just pulled up a regular shape in, in Canvas here. I'm going to go get a roll of film, and we're going to add whatever. Let's put in a point two four and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what the edge will look like. Unfortunately, you can't test this out before you hit that OK button. Let's come here to Edit, and let's try to subtract. Okay, if that disappears, that's because our big one lies in front. So we need to come here, Edit, and send it to the bottom. Okay, so now let's try it. Edit, subtract. Okay, so now there we go. And that is one. And let's try adding the color. Let's put in the pink that I always use. There we go. So that's what and how it will be done in Canvas. Okay, so that you can have your thin outline. Let's do the view, the show cut lines. So there it is. Okay. Um, I'll take us into the Windows offline workspace next. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So here we are in the Canvas offline program, Windows only currently. I have just a simple shape, so we have to get to our create offset line, and you find that under the edit tab. 0 0.20 outward round. Um, Yeah, what do I guess round in? Okay. Alright. So now, what lies 
at the front. If you don't have your color turned on, the easiest way, come here and click on the top. Where that outside bounding box is will tell you what lies on top. Well, I know the biggest one lies on top, so I best go in and change where that uh, big one lies. So, so let's go find the layer, arrange, send to back. So now let's try it. Yep, so now the bounding box, the small one is laying on top. So now let's go and do our subtract. All right, let's add our color. put our pink in there okay and there we go now I still have not seen them add in any um, show cut line show draw lines okay so um, yeah so that's it but there it is that's how you get your lines in all three of the programs that we uh, primarily use um, for our scan and cut uh, machines. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, you can come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalp Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot.